All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan King, Real Combat Media, and the Clinch Report. I am here with Dethrone Base Camp MMA prospect, top prospect, Chris Honeycutt, coming off his big win. Chris, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Very good, very good. Uh, Chris, you had a little problem, a couple problems with your opponent um, earlier, uh, ducking out of the fight before you were uh, ready to. How did that? How did that mess with your head a little? Um, I. I I didn't really even mess with that too much. I kind of got my, my hopes up. My dad was in China and cut a short trip to fly back here. And I don't know, my brother, sister, mom flew in from the Carolina. So they, they traveled to the other country. So I had a couple of friends from LA that came down. So a lot of them were participating in watching me fight. And I told them the, the risk of some people back out time to time. But I mean, he showed up to the weigh ins. He was hands were wrapped. He was getting ready for his fight. 15 minutes later, they told me he, he, was, he was gone. So. They actually called uh, and the replacement in, and I'm um, happy that he stepped up and uh, and came in and, and got it done. So nice. Now you're uh, you're known in in the uh, in the combat world as being one of the best wrestlers, uh, co- collegiate wrestling. Um, and tonight, most of the people thought you were going to come in and take this guy down, including myself. But you really displayed your striking uh, and improved striking skills. Um, was that your uh, was that your game plan coming into the fight? Was to finish the fight with strikes? I mean, I know you had to switch opponents. Yeah, yeah. Did your game plan change with the opponent uh, switch? A little bit. I, I saw my first opponent, and I kind of you know you get to use your head and kind of you get an idea of what he looks like, what he's going to look like across the street from you. It weighs the day before, so I kind of had a you know, I started to feel comfortable wanting to just stand up and try to try my hands for a little bit, but uh, you know having him back out and having a New guy, and he was a little bigger, taller. So I, uh, you know, kind of went back to the to what's built in the hardware and it's, and it's wrestling. But yeah, so going for more, trying to do stand up, I I try to display a little more, just to be on the safe side. I wanted to get him down next to the cage and uh, you know do what I where I feel comfortable the most. So uh, what's next for Chris Honeycutt? Well, I'm headed Monday. I fly out back out to Erie, Pennsylvania, to work out with. Uh, my college wrestling team and get them ready for the NCAA's at uh, Edinburgh University. There's a couple guys, so they're looking to do well and, and I, you know, show alumni support, getting them ready. And uh, a week later, I get back to Fresno at the Throne Base Camp, working out with Koscheck and Mavar Johnson and, and all the other MMA guys up there. And uh, hopefully, I can get another fight in three, four weeks from now and keep tallying on some wins. Nice. Now, um, how has your life changed since you uh, since you joined Team D Throne Base Camp and, and you've been featured on the television show Fight Factory? Um, as an amateur, have you have you felt a lot of pressure uh, coming into your pro debut? Um, I mean, I guess I, I, not pressure from other people. I put pressure on myself to to not necessarily um, performing, even though that obviously that's where it all comes down to is when you perform. But uh, you know, I, I put pressure on myself every single day to get better. To not necessarily learn something new, but if not learn it, to become more proficient, to you know be able to throw a left hook and pivot at the same time and not feel off balance. Boxing is uh, something that I'm really intrigued in and I'm, and I'm learning quickly, but you know I have a life history since I was four years old of wrestling, so I'm used to being hunched over with the head down and that's the complete opposite of what you want in boxing. So, but uh, you know I love being in the gym, I love working out, so. And I got great people to work out with, and, and I know what I'm being taught is what the best do. So I, I'm excited to get back to work and you know get that next one in. Do you have any uh, sponsors or teammates that you'd like to thank? Uh, you know, um, Dwayne Zinkin, Bob Cook, uh, Jasper, T, uh, Koscheck. If I didn't see Koscheck already, uh, I don't know all the guys that. The throne base camp for grinding it out. I mean, it's a grown program. It's uh, the, everyone works real hard, and, and, and we have a great future. Excellent. And King Mo, especially for picking up that win at Bellator on Thursday. Yeah, that was a big win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with top MMA prospect coming off his debut win, Chris Honeycutt, two-time NCAA champion. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. Take care. Thanks.